There may be times when you have challenging lighting that you have to work around. For example, if you're photographing in the shade, but there's bright light in the background. For this photograph of LJ, he's being handed an ice cream cone and he's standing outside of a food truck. But I was inside of the food truck trying to photograph this with some difficult light behind him. This made both him and the ice cream a little bit more shaded. Particularly the ice cream is too dark and I'd like to add some brightness to that. I'm in the Essentials tools and I'll begin by going to Enhance AI. I'll click Enhance and then I'm going to take that accent slider and move it to the right. That's doing a good job of adding some brightness and contrast to the scene, but I still need to do some work to the photo to make the ice cream cone even brighter. I'm going to head over to the Professional tools and go to Super Contrast. At the very bottom, I'm going to play around with the Shadows Contrast slider. I'll move that shadows contrast to the right, and once I have that set, I can adjust the balance. If I move it to the right, it makes the shadows darker, but if I move it to the left, it adds fill light to those shadow areas. Let me toggle this tool off and on so you can see what it did. The light in the photograph is balanced, but it's still a little flat. So I'm going to go over to the Creative Tools and access Mystical. I'll take that amount slider and move it to the right. I like the way this looks with the amount slider, but I still want to fill in more light in the shadows. So I'll take the shadow slider and move it to the right. I'll toggle this tool off and on, and I think this is looking great. There's one more tool I'd like to use, so I'll head back over to Essentials and go down to Vignette at the bottom. The image is lit very evenly now across the entire scene but I want the focus to really be drawn to the ice cream. By adding a vignette, I'm able to darken the edges, which will then naturally draw your eyes to the center of the photograph. So I'll begin by taking the amount slider. I'm going to move it pretty far to the left. This gives me a really good visual of what the vignette looks like. It's too intense, but I'll change that after I make some other adjustments. Next, I'll go down to feather and move that to the right. This softens the edge of the vignette. I'm also going to take that inner light slider and move it to the right as well. That adds brightness to the center of the image. Now this vignette looks good, but I want people's eyes to be drawn to the ice cream. So I'm going to reposition the vignette to do just that. I'm going to click choose subject. And then I click on where I want the center of the vignette to be. And that is the ice cream. So I'll click on the ice cream. And if I don't like where that sits, I can reset it. So maybe I want it to be a little bit lower. I'll move the cursor down and click once again. And I can keep doing this to play around with how it looks. Now I'll go back to the amount slider and subdue the effect. I'll toggle the vignette off and on so we can see how that vignette really makes the ice cream stand out. By using Luminar, I was able to overcome a challenging lighting situation.